going to look at the shape builder tool and to look at it I'm going to look at making a simple Christmas tree. So to start off with we need to draw some triangles. I'm going to use three triangles to make my Christmas tree. Now if I click onto the shape tool here, click and hold the mouse button down I get various tools including a polygon tool. And the polygon is any shape that's not four sides. If I click and drag on here what I get is a six sided shape which isn't what I want. So I'm going to delete that and instead of clicking and holding the mouse button down I'm just going to clickly tap on the screen. So that's just a quick tap and that allows me to change the number of sides down to three. Click OK and there's my first triangle. That's a little bit bigger than what I want so I'm going to take that down a bit. Um, it's in green which is what I want. I want a red line around the outside and I'd like to be able to see the line so I'm going to change that to five point but it's it's a little bit pointy it's a bit sort of bit unfriendly looking for a Christmas tree so I'm also going to change it to the line to a five point round so this is going to make the corners rounded so there's my nice rounded triangle now I need two more of those so I'm going to edit and copy and edit and paste and I'm going to make that one a bit bigger. I'm going to put that in the centre there. And then I'm going to control a bigger button. I'm going to edit and paste again. That's going to give me a third one. I'm going to make that one a bit bigger. Put that there. Okay, maybe not quite that big. That looks about right to me. So what I've got on the screen now are three tr separate triangles and what I really want is just the outline shape. So what I'm going to do is join those three shapes together to instead of, so instead of having three triangles I'm going to have one single Christmas tree shape. So I select all three and then click onto the shape builder tool. The shape builder tool is really simple all I need to do is draw lines between the shapes I want to join together. And as I go over each shape, see it sort of has a, a vaguely sort of hatch pattern appears on it. So I click and hold down my left mouse button, draw up. It's now joined those two shapes. It's now joined the third one, the fourth one, and the fifth one. So when I let go, what I've got now is one single Christmas tree shape. Okay, I'm going to move that down a touch. And just to finish off my tree, a little bit more, I'm going to put a rectangle in which I'm going to colour a nice dark brown and I'm going to move that up into the tree. Now that of course is sitting in front and what I want that to do is I want that to oops, get that in the middle is I want that to go behind so I'm going to click onto arrange and centre back that's my tree there and on the top I've got a nice star so I'm going to draw myself a nice star here that looks around about right and I don't think I want a brown star I think I want a nice silver star okay and I can also of course on here put that as a gradient so I'm going to click onto that for the star and make that a nice radial I'm going to click that colour to another grey. That looks okay to me. And now I can click on that, put that up top, and there is my Christmas tree. 